All right, everybody, we are back for a new episode of Into the Nair. <laughs> but today, we're gonna turn it down a little bit and we're gonna ride a single Black Diamond Trail 99er, really classic trail in Whistler. It's raining. Thanks God it's raining. We were waiting for the rain for quite some time now. Wet riding means wet roots, wet rocks, meaning that things get a little bit sketchier. And today, we're gonna turn it down and simply work on our basic skills to make it safe down the trail. Let's go, let's send it. All right, suspensions unlocked, pipa pipa poom, pipa pipa poom. Let's send it. <laughs> Let's go 99er. So 99er is a janky little trail that was created, I don't know when. Up, little section right here, right here, woo, the skinny. So that's typical Whistler janky trail. Let's stop here, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. So, we're entering the trail and right away there's two little features. A little skinny on the, on the right side, my left right now, but pretty wet. So, wet wood like that, you always want to be pretty light on your brakes. You don't, want to tr you don't want to break to slow down and stop on this kind of stuff. There's a big difference in between. Let's see, it's slippery. There's a big difference in between um, braking to slow down and braking to control your speed. This is what you're going to do here. You're going to brake, control your speed, and then exit over there, a little climb with roots and stuff. But yeah, here, very important, we come at the top. When we are at the top of there, we're actually going to slow down, and we're going to control our speed all the way down. We are not entering too fast and then getting all uh, ooh, sketchy, trying to brake here. Boom, hit the ground, okay? So very slow, and then you enter, control your speed, exit with speed instead of the opposite. We are not going to talk too much about line choice today. We're just going to talk about moves and what we do in terms of braking, releasing the brakes and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so we are exiting from here, whatever, here or here, kind of same. Enter this, kind of slow down here a little bit. You're going to exit with a little bit of speed. You want enough momentum so you can just roll on top of that and you don't have to pedal. If you pedal and you need more speed, make sure at the start of the trail you have a strong gear, so you want something to press on. Always when you ride down, make sure you shift down a little bit because you want a strong gear and you don't want to be speeding too much. If I'm at the top of that, for example, and I need to put like an emergency pedal stroke because I need to accelerate, I need something to press on. If I have too easy of a gear, I'm going to spin, lose my balance and I might crash. If you have something to press on, you can even like ratchet pedal. Tac, tac tack and you make your way up okay so i'm going to come here enough momentum slow down a bit and carry a little bit of speed momentum through that and i'm going to control my speed down okay breaking here chill come here slow down and then control my speed tack. so that went really well huh? very chill and controlling the speed you see like, i wasn't aggressive on my braking and that's what you want to do like on wet uh, wet wood wet rocks and stuff like that okay Let's carry on. Poop, poop, poop. I'm gonna roll here, a little climb. So all these trails here on the west side of Whistler are actually a lot of uh, up and down, kind of cross country stuff. So always be ready for some really punchy little climbs a little bit everywhere. And see like that's the kind of trail and the time of the year actually to kind of Raffine, raffine, raffine your skills? How do you say that? Raffine, raffine? Who knows? Anyways. So little rock roll right here. Uh, we come from a pretty nice and flat little section over there, so you can really prepare yourself pretty, pretty well. Uh, then you enter this thing, a little roots, they are dry right now. And then you have a really off camber rock, which can be pretty sketchy. And then a little step towards the end, and then kind of bouncy left under corner after that over there okay so that's a little bit the same thing you don't want to you don't want to enter that too fast and then right here be like oh there's a little step and then grab your front brake and then of course you're going to slide mm -hmm. you might not crash but it's not going to be looking good at the bottom just think about when you ride um, like let's say a rooty junky section with some rocks and roots and stuff like that if you go slow on the trail what does your bike is going to do? Your bike, all the wheels are basically going to go into every hole. They're going to bounce everywhere. Suspension is going to compress. Nothing's going to be balanced. And all the rides is going to be really bouncy, uh, pretty sketchy. 
If you go, you take the same section and now you go a little bit faster, what does your bike do? It's gonna stay on top of everything. When you have making the ride really smooth and pretty uh, enjoyable, you can pick up your lines and everything, you're staying on top of stuff, you float. There's a lot of, there's a notion of flow when you do that. Let's say now we take a steeper section like this one. At the bottom of every steep section, what's there? There is a compression, most of the time. You're gonna have an, a steep section at the bottom compression. If you are on the brakes at the bottom in the compression, what is your bike gonna do? What's gonna happen? But basically, you're gonna take everything in the face. Bah! Nasty run out and you exit with no speed. Because that's not the notion of flow. When we ride mountain bike, what we want is to have some flow on the trail. We wanna play, we wanna carve corners and we want to have some flow. So that's not flow. If I enter the same section, I enter it a little bit slower and towards the end, I'm starting to release my brakes and tack, use the compression either to accelerate or to slow down. That's flow. You're really like smoothing out that compression at the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna enter that really chill, eh? really chill, really chill, really chill. We're gonna start to creep down that. And then towards the end, I'm gonna push down, release my brakes, push down and use this compression to actually accelerate instead of being, bah! the compression is our friend. We want to use this compression. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna slow down nice and tall on my bike, creep, and then right here. So, the bikes these days are pretty long. So you saw that on a little feature like that, that when I basically reached the bottom, I had to kind of push with my legs, so the rear wheel kind of do that, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how I do it, my way. <laughs> Not too fast. And once I'm here, look. So that's done. See, that's kind of like we could spend, stay here and make it even better and really improve that thing and stuff like that. So that's, you can play around and things like that. Today, that's perfect. It kind of shows you that sometimes by diving even more and really entering this thing, you actually accelerate even more in the compression and can really use it even more. So let's carry on and uh, let's see what's uh, over there. So we go here, ta 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 ti, ta ta ti ta tu. And we have an over little climb. Today is perfect actually, look at that. Oh, little technical climb. We're gonna accelerate right here, tac, tac, so we can go over the routes without too much trouble. Gonna do the same thing, little before, and tac, carry on. Carry on right here. This trail is pretty fun. Oh, that's the, there's a roundabout here. Let's respect the trail and what they've created, and then tac. We are back in the same spot. <laughs> Next feature, we basically have two little rock rolls. Okay, same thing. And again, it appears right here at the bottom of the steep face. Tack, little compression. Okay, so we said that before, and here it is again, twice in a row. <laughs> steep <laughs> compression. Science, big brain. <laughs> um, this one, though, these two are different than the one we just did. The other one I was actually using the compression to accelerate and this one I'm actually gonna have to go down, use the compression to slow down because there is the next one right here, even steeper. Steep and compression again, tight corner after. If you go too fast and you carry speed, you're gonna end up straight down there, which you don't wanna do. We don't wanna... These days we can ride really gnarly stuff and there is no reason to make them gnarlier than what they are. We want to avoid the, the hospital as, as much as we can. Okay, so we take it chill. Let's, uh, let's practice. So what I'm going to do here, and you'll see on steep slab like that, like a lot of time you can see like we have the tendency to, to go back on the bike and we are not really putting any pressure anywhere. I'm actually going to do it right here. When you go down here, that's like a natural kind of reflex. You, you're kind of scared, huh? so you want to be like, ah! You're kind of passive, you don't want to go, your bike is going, but you, ah! <laughs> you're trying to not go. When it's actually the, like the opposite of what we should be doing, because when you do that, you're actually not applying any pressure anywhere. You are not applying any pressure on the front tire, and you are not actually applying any pressure on the rear as well. So, basically what we have to do here, we have to charge more the front end of the bike, because that's where the traction is on the front end. And we need to drop down our heels to keep 
the rear wheel on the ground and to actually keep control of the rear wheel right here, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're charging with your upper body on the front of the bike and you're dropping down your heels to actually keep traction of rear as well. If it's like that, for me, that's not actually too steep. You will see that I'm, I'm actually gonna ride that with my legs straight, charging as much as I can the front of my bike, okay? Dropping down my heel as much as I can, okay? If it gets steeper, you can go lower on your bike, but you don't want to go too far back, okay? You're going lower, you're still charging the front of the bike, and you're charging on the rear as well, okay? Let's do that, and we will see what I'm gonna do on that little compression after. So I go around and see how I want to enter this slab, this little rock face, straight. I'm not, so I'm putting my corner wide, and I'm entering that straight. So now I'm entering, it's getting steep here. I'm gonna drop down my heels, charge the front of my bike, See how I'm charging the front here? Charging the front, charging the front, charging the front. And I push to slow down right here. Okay? So basically, what happened right here at the bottom of that little compression, you saw me like basically pushing down with my arms and my legs. Why did I do that? To basically push my bike as much as I can on the ground to gain the traction again. So you go here, pam pam, compression, and then you enter the next one. Next one is the same. Enter very slow and then you're going to pick up speed normal because it's super steep and right at the bottom tack slow down and I make my corner if I enter too fast I'm going to be on the brakes at the bottom and I'm going to be on the brakes into a corner which double sucks <laughs> <laughs> For This one we have to basically manage two things the compression and the corner after so really slow at the beginning break and then try to carry a little bit of speed for the corner after that will be, uh, we're creating flow here. We are mastering this little trace. So I'm entering that, entering that really slow. So at the end, cut. Before you do, before you do things like that, if you've never done that before, just practice on like a simple rock roll. And practice to do the rock roll, you enter it, steep compression, go back to neutral position, grab your brake and slow down. So make sure you can, ride this kind of stuff and then right after, boom, slow down, stop. Mm -hmm. Like that would be actually cool to practice that, go down that and then stop right here. Because if there is a cliff after right here, you want to be able to stop. Pushing my bike, pushing my bike, pushing my bike, my bike, my bike. So I know very little feature, half camber a little bit at the beginning. And so now we know there is two types of like basically uh, a little steep shoot. One where you're basically going to use the compression to slow down after and then one where you're gonna have to do the compression to accelerate carry speed. Which one is this one? That's a compression where you basically have to pick up speed because there is a climb after. So you don't want to be like breaking here. That wouldn't make sense. You want to use that to carry speed after, okay? And same approach, you enter pretty chill and release your brake, pick up speed right after. What's super important also when we're biking is where we look at things, okay? Always having your vision and your head going where the trail is going and where you want to go. If your head is pointing at a rock just down here, where are you going to go? On the rock. So always have constantly your head moving ahead and your eyes keep scanning the terrain. And in tack, we're going to slow down. That's actually super blind. Huh? And in tack, I'm going to have to make my way here. Go over here. I'm going to open the corner a little bit, break early. On the brakes and right here, lean the bike up, lean the bike again, up. We were strong here, up, little jump, Whoop. straight here, little log right here, boom. Oh, that's a good section. And pick up speed right here, that's good. Whoop. Whoop. Stay on the inside, Whoop. 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 so good, that's super good. So we are entering a pretty, uh, pretty rooty section. So as I mentioned before, rooty section, see how like there's a bunch of steps and holes and stuff. If you are like in this section right here and trying to brake to slow down here, well, you're gonna be really passive. Your suspensions are gonna be uh, activated. You know, you're gonna bounce everywhere, take everything in the face. It's not gonna feel good. So on this kind of stuff, and I can actually see, I can actually see where the trade is going. As soon as I, I have something in my sight and I see where the trail is going over there, I'm gonna release my brakes and pick up speed. There is a little bit of a corner at the bottom. I don't know what's after that. So I'm gonna brake before that, slow down, 
and make my corner. If you check this section right here, you can actually see that there is a bunch of like holes, nice holes, like the size of a bike. These holes, you want to use them to actually like break, push down, slow down, okay? If you need to slow down. All this stuff here, stuff here, accelerate. Hold over there, slow down. Pick up, pick up a line. I'm gonna go straight across, I'm not gonna go around. Break, carry speed again, break before the corner, corner. And you can simply do that really fast as if you are racing, or you can do that slower because you're kind of discovering mountain biking and you're gonna control your speed down that, boom, 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 boom. Slow down, you have a nice section to slow down, support you, and you keep going, carry on. Let's send it! So I'm coming here, up, enter that, release my brake, slow down, release my brake, slow down. Up, enter that, release my brake, slow down, release my brake, slow down. And go again, Oop. and tight corner. Oop. We're gonna do now a little top to bottom lap. Let's go. All right, here we go. Top of a 99er. Taking that little corner right here. Tag break early. Hop, and carry speed at the exit. And break early here. I'm gonna take the skinny skinny. Up, slowing down at the top. Control my speed. And tag, pick up speed right here. Little climb. That's like a good little cardio, cardio lap. Little climbs, a little bit everywhere, and then some good little moves to practice your skills a little bit. It's perfect. Come here. I'm riding chill. You know, very thinking about my movements, where I brake, where I release the brakes, where I'm looking at on the trail. We have this little move here, little jump, tack, pick up speed in between the trees, and we carry on. I think we're gonna have a little technical climb coming, right after. Up right here, a shift toi! Sometimes life is not perfect, and you have to do it again. So if it doesn't work, just like, go back a little bit and then do it again. You know, practice your moves. If it didn't work, well, make it happen. Don't just walk away and carry on. That's that move, break early, open the corner and carry speed at the exit. Go here, on the pedals, go around that. Go around that, up, accelerate, the sun is in the face, but well, that's all good. Eh? Go here, over that, little pedal, you can breathe a little bit, and carry on next section. Break early, and you release right here. Up. Break early and lean the bike, release right here. Up, get inside, open the corner, and we have a little pedal section right here. Going over that, I'm gonna take the inside here. Chill, little jump here. It was fun. Up. Carry speed through this jank. Whoop. Take the inside here. Pop. Go towards the inside. Curl across inside. Right here. Break. And go here. Break again. Down here. Slow down. Sharp corner at the bottom. And little nose turn. Carry on. Exit. Up. Come here. Inside. Inside. Outside, try to go back, open the corner, and you go here. Boom! Last section, and we are at the end. Break early, up, up, right here. Accelerate those roots. And there we go. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Here you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little format of video. Chill, right? Practicing our moves. I think it's very essential before we can tackle some really gnarly explosion, uh, explosion, explosion uh, stuff. <laughs> Stay tuned for some more videos and uh, see you out there. Are you still gonna call it into the nar? That video? Yeah. That's not into the nar. Was it into the nar? Was that gnarly? But the nar, the nar is very relative to everybody. Yeah. So that can be gnarly for some people. So it's, it's uh, into the nar, the nar, um, the little nar, into the little nar, into le petit, into the petit nar, <laughs> into the petit nar. <laughs>